The Adaptations of the Roots by kscience.com The roots of plants are highly adapted. On the surface of the roots, you've got cells called root hair cells. That's what I'm drawing now, the root hair cells. Root hair cells increase the surface area for the absorption of water and mineral ions. So the root hair cells have got a large surface area, as you can see. This here is an example of a root hair cell. I'm now going to draw two to show you how surface area affects the rate of absorption. So you've got root hair cells A and B. Root hair cell A, as you can see here, can absorb at seven different points because it's got a larger surface area than B, which can only absorb at three different points. So having a larger surface area, so having a larger surface area means absorption happens more quickly. A smaller surface area means absorption happens more slowly. So root hair cells, their adaptation is a large surface area, which acts to increase the rate of osmosis of water, as well as diffusion and active transport. I'm now drawing here more root hair cells to increase the surface area of the roots. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is a root hair cell. There is more water in the outside of the root hair cell in the soil than on the inside of the root hair cell. However, mineral ions, there is less mineral ions outside the cell than on the inside where there are more. So I'm now gonna show you how a large surface area increases the rate of osmosis and how the root hair cell is adapted for active transport. There is a higher concentration of water on the outside of the cell in the soil than on the inside. So there's a lower concentration of water inside the cell. So water will osmose from outside to inside the cell from a high to low concentration by osmosis. So water is transported by osmosis into the root hair cell. Whereas mineral ions, there is a lower concentration on the outside than inside. So it requires protein carrier molecules in the root hair cell. These protein carrier molecules are embedded in the cell membrane. And what they do is they actively transport mineral ions into the root hair cell through the protein carrier molecule using energy. So protein carrier molecules require energy to transport mineral ions from a low to high concentration by active transport. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.